Fulton County deputy gets arrested by the Fulton County Sheriff's Office. Atlanta police was going to let her go, even though her actions were completely against the law while in full uniform. To break this down, I have the report from the Shade Room. Here it is. It's a chart topping song on TikTok right now. What's up, G Way? Trouble is what's up after fists started flying at the video shoot for YB and Famous Sally. It's like she's giving obsession. The shock when the sheriff's office showed up and found one of its detention officers dressed in uniform, throwing hands. She got fired the next day, joining a list of other officers at the Fulton County Jail let go for inappropriate behavior this year. Some of them accused of having romantic relationships with inmates. I'm Justin Carter, this is TSR Investigates. October 9th, 2023, dozens of people were outside with it, gearing up for a music video shoot for What's Up G-Way. Then Atlanta police got a phone call about a fight in progress. It was from Fulton County Jail Detention Officer Shaniqua Bodden, seen here in uniform. And that's when it got ugly. It's like she's giving obsession. This is Rayonda Wynn. She's sister to Atlanta rap artist Famous Sally. She's been having man problems lately with this woman, 30-year-old Shaniqua Bodden. It started back in August. She called my phone about an inmate. She says the inmate was somebody she used to date, and apparently, Bodden was entangled with him, too. That's when she says the harassing text messages started. After the 10 messages, she just started harassing me on Instagram, watching me from a fake page, and stated, I'm a, po- I'm a police officer. I move different. And laugh now, cry later. She says that Bodden filed a temporary protection order against her, and wanted to watch it being served to taunt her. Justin Carter has much more tea from the shade room. What I appreciate about the story is that it goes into the nuances of what happened prior, what happened during, and what happened afterwards. There's more, here it is. I got to my sister video shoot around seven o'clock. Was she invited to that video shoot or did she just show up because she knew you would be there? She just showed up because she knew I would be there. She was walking up to me with the papers in my hand, putting the papers in my face. And I said, B, get the papers out of my face. And I spit on her. She spit back on me. That's when the officer put me in handcuffs. That part wasn't recorded, but this part was. Oh! 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 He put me in handcuffs. She trying to hit me. That's when my daughter came and hit her. You can see an Atlanta police officer placing Wynn in handcuffs and taking her away. From this view, Bodden was seen smirking, walking behind them. So the police officer, excuse me, corrections officer, is laughing at the fact that she has created a cause and effect that has led to the arrest of the individual whom she had beef with. But she wasn't laughing long, here it is. But Bodden was not laughing for long. As more officers arrived, including a chief deputy for the sheriff's department, they arrested her too for disorderly conduct. The sheriff's office sent me this statement saying, quote, detention officer Shaniqua Bodden was terminated after she was involved in a physical altercation with another woman. She's been employed with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office since March 15th, 2023, and was a probationary employee. All right, let's put up the picture full mass. Hell of a thing, so the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, once again, Uh, in the news, and I will say this, the individual with the uniform on is the criminal here or the one who has been criminally charged, the person on the other side, well, that is the local celebrity doing a video shoot at her job. The officer decided to come there to serve an order from the court, even though she is party in the suit itself. That is illegal, that is against the law. You cannot do both. You cannot be in the litigation and serve the litigation. Now, here's the ironic thing about this. The sheriff's office did the right thing. APD, the Atlanta Police Department, who initially responded, they arrested Ms. Wynn rather than the officer. 
It wasn't until the sheriff's department came to the scene after that smirk on the face of the corrections officer, they decided to arrest her as well. I do expect there to be a lawsuit given the nuances of this case. Naturally, that jail officer has been fired. But this goes to that I can do whatever I want to do because I'm the police attitude. It's a cultural thing. The rules clearly say you can't do this. The rules are in place. The policy is prevalent. It says you're not allowed to do A, B, and C. But there's a violation of policy. Why? Because of how those first officers responded. The first officers were only willing to arrest the victim of this insanity, but not arrest the corrections officer who had no business being at that place of employment at all. But when the sheriff's office showed up, they enacted the arrest there. You see, this is about as close as you're going to get right now to an officer being arrested in real time. Remember when I said, I'm looking for the day when an officer will commit a crime and the officer next to that officer will say, put your hands behind your back. You are under arrest. We shall see the development as it continues. As I said, I expect a lawsuit. The attorney that Ms. Wynn has been able to retain is a former prosecutor. Turned defense attorney, promise you she knows all the rules. All right, Jordan, thoughts here. This story, I'm glad you pointed it out because the original source seemed to just gloss over the fact that she was, you know, a party in it and also tried to serve the order, which is just absurd. I, I, I was so confused by that. So thank you for pointing that out. This reminds me, like her behavior really reminds me of. You know, like a mall security guard or, you know, a loss prevention officer at a store, like really taking that badge a bit too seriously. I mean, she was a corrections officer. She's wearing her uniform to go to a music video shoot. Like, what are we doing here? Come on, let's let everyone relax. Just trying to cosplay as a cop and ends up just getting instant karma, which I did find enjoyable. But what truly ludicrous story. Yeah. And she was a probationary. Corrections officer. I mean, damn, man. Ma'am, you could not make it through your 90 days without doing something like that. All right. Big ups to the shade room. Did a great job on that reporting as they always do.